after the blades stop, our responsibility for the helicopter is not complete. If you need to leave the aircraft outside for any period of time, you may, at a minimum, need to secure the main rotor blades. First, Gina assembles the tool. Then she attaches the sock to the tool. She then slides the sock over the blade tip and finally removes the tool from the sock. This is the prescribed method to install the blade sock onto the blade. However, should you find yourself without the proper tool, you may use a small stool or ladder to assist in the installation of the sock. In this case, you may simply place the sock directly over the blade tip by hand. Or, if you have no access to either the tool or a step ladder, you may carefully use the blade sock rope to gently pull the blade tip down to a height where you can install the sock while standing on the surface. Toss the rope over the blade near the tip, being very careful not to touch the trim tabs. After the three blade socks are installed, you will tie each corresponding rope to the nearest landing gear cross tube. She will pull the slack out of the rope, but without pulling any tension. Then she will pull an additional four inches of rope. This will apply the proper amount of tension to the blade. This procedure will be repeated for the second blade. Notice how this blade orientation keeps the tie down ropes well clear of the fuselage. In this video, Gina placed a blade in the nine o'clock position. However, she could have chosen to place one blade in the three o'clock position, which would have caused the other two blades to be in the 7 and 11 o'clock positions. Either of these two orientations is acceptable. Finally, the last blade rope is tied to the aft cross tube on the port side of the helicopter. The maintenance manual recommends that after pulling the slack out of the rope, you then pull another 100 millimeters of rope, which is essentially four inches. Our hands are approximately four inches across. So a practical way to determine how much additional rope to pull is to use the width of your hand as a gauge. Excessive blade flapping, which may occur if the blades are tied down too loosely, or excessive tension, which may occur if the blades are pulled down too tightly, could result in damage to the helicopter. When correctly installed, the blade tie downs will maintain proper tension on the rotor system while the ship is parked. Mm -hmm.